<laughs> I'm naming him Pain. <laughs> That's gonna be a weird banjo. Yeah, this is still karate chopping yeah. me. Yeah. I still feel like I'm getting like tapped. Yeah, it's kind of. This is a story of how Sarah learns she's no good at playing the banjo. Um, you don't want to hold it up with this arm. You sort of want to hold it with this arm. And I about die from eating natural hot chicken. Oh, my. It does make it worse. Let's go. Nashville is one of those places that's like a second home to us. Full of friends, good food, and music that transports you back to another time. While we love the city itself, it's the people that make this place so special and keep us coming back time and again. First stop during our most recent visit to the Music City was to see our friend Dave over at Nashville Banjo Company. This is Dave. He's the owner and he's the craftsman. You know a lot about banjos, right Sarah? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. Do you play guitar or anything? Flute. <laughs> you play flute? Okay. This is an open back banjo and it's a kinder, gentler banjo and okay. the, the sound sort of stays right here with you. There's no back on it to resonate and I build mine with a goat skin on them and uh, hand carve them but it has a sound more like... That's so pretty. sound of an open back banjo about three or four years ago and I, about three years ago and I realized um, my Chinese made one left a lot to be desired mm -hmm. and I was sort of uh, I wanted to try one that was you know bigger and smaller and a goat skin and a calf skin and fretted and fretless and a lot of different varieties and um, I realized I couldn't buy them all so instead I spent ten times that amount of money and built a <laughs> workshop <laughs> you know there's nobody here's a banjo and goes, what instrument is that? What was that? Everybody recognizes the sound. And you can't hear a banjo and not have an emotion. Like that song, how'd that make you feel? Felt like home. Felt like home. Mm -hmm. And a banjo reminds everybody of a simpler time, a time that's way back. Mm -hmm. Even if they didn't have a simpler time way back, it reminds you of authentic, older, simpler, mm -hmm. and um, the opposite of a cell phone. Nashville sees music trends come and go all the time, but through these trends, at the very core of the love for music itself are people like Dave, who keep the tradition and craft alive and thriving. These are the people who make Music City, Music City. you and see if you can trim some of that neck off. No? You gotta oh. tilt it down a little bit. See there? Ah! Yeah. Oh, so you like really like work it down. Kind of, am I gonna mess this up? Oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just like trim it and shave it down to make it look smoother or get it to the right size or? Yeah, get to the right size. So keep, you got a lot more to do. Uh, okay. <laughs> so does different size affect the sound or what does it do? What am I? So you're gonna thin that down. I don't to, want to. You're gonna keep shaving down until it looks like that. Oh. That's the that's okay. the rough idea. Well, I'd be here all day. Yeah. So it looks like a circle and a stick, right? Mm -hmm. Basically, a circle and a stick. Mm -hmm. But there's a couple things going on. One, that neck right here is tilted back. Oh. At 2.75 degrees. Oh, it is very specific. <laughs> yeah. So this has got to tilt back. It's got to have a radius, and it's got to tilt that way. So there's a lot of geometry. I use tangent every day. That's my nightmare. <laughs> I love trig. I hate math. This is off an old class craftsman wood lathe. Oh yeah, we should probably mention right here that Dave isn't just a musician though. He's also a mechanical engineer. This is a windshield wiper motor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a pulley off an air conditioning system. This is a clutch that engages yeah. the pulley. Right here, I built a pulse width modulator with some little electronics I had. I think it's fun to take something square and make it round. I'll put that in. 
Right here? Yeah. Not very strong. And line the stripe up so the stripe is is uh, symmetrical with the other stripe. There you go. Is that good? Put this off. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, there. That's gonna be a weird banjo. Yeah. Oh, why? Because the fingerboard's over here oh. at 90 degrees to the banjo. It's not right. like more like that. <laughs> What's that? Goat skin. It's goat skin, that's right. He said it earlier. It's the only reason I knew. Uh, and this right here. I was ready for that one. Well, ferrets come and gnaw the meat off of it, and that's what the scratches are. No way. I can smell it. Ugh. Oh, interesting it's smell. Nasty. So, have yours been played places? Have they been on stages yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've built um, several for s some guys on the Opry. And so we, my wife and I would turn on the Grand Ole Opry sometimes Friday, Saturday nights and listen to my banjos, which is a real so treat neat. for me. I, I sort of always wanted to play on the Opry, but I tell you, it's a lot bigger thrill to turn on the radio and listen to one, something you made. Yeah. Pull up a chair. We'll sit and we'll figure this out. Put it in your lap like that. Like that. And um, you don't want to hold it up with this arm. You'll sort of want to hold it with this arm. Sorry. Oh, okay. Now, imagine you got a credit card in your hand, so sort of this shape. With this first finger, keep it sort of turned in there, and come down and have it just strike the first string. This is like, say you're brushing a cat on the head, and this is like you're knocking on a door. You're going to do a little bit more knocking on a door than brushing a cat on the head as you hit that string. Okay. So. Now, as you do that, your thumb is pointing up there. Just have your thumb come and rest on that fifth string. Like it's... Okay. So it's, don't, don't do it so fast. Just like, do this right here. Oh my right word. Then. Why am I having such a... Do that about 10 more times. You gotta practice. That's good. That's good. <laughs> One eternity later. Don't do this. Yeah. Just go. One. Let's do that about 20 times. There, you just learned this pattern. That's really that's cool. It. That's so you you're so patient. <laughs> all had a mutual desire to kill their taste buds with the infamous Nashville hot chicken. So I'm right outside Hattie B's and my friend Josh. Can you say hi, Josh? <laughs> hey. This is our friend Josh. He's never tried Nashville hot chicken either. We're actually gonna go in and get some hot chicken with my friend Thad. Let's go. It's called Nashville Hot Chicken, and a lot of times people come to Nashville and they're like, oh, let's go get hot chicken, and they're like, we want a mild. No, it's not called Nashville Mild Chicken, it's called Nashville Hot Chicken. If you want mild chicken, just go down to Chick-fil-A or Bojangles, and there you go. But that's not, it should be a full body, like, you know, it should it should take over your zip code. It's an experience. It should yes. take over your personal zip code for <laughs> <laughs> like. Uh. This is that cockerel, singer, songwriter, creative, lead singer of the band Leagues, and Nashville native. We're not going to do the hot chicken right now. You want to do the hot chicken first? No, let's do it last so that we can enjoy this. Yes. So this is like normal. This is normal chicken. Like so, you have the the damn hot chicken. Yeah. Is that hot? This is mild. So this See. You broke, you, you broke. I broke, well, originally Sarah was gonna be here. I set this one out and let Chris give it a go alone. 
After all, we only have a van bathroom, but apparently only one of us was thinking that far ahead. So I'm gonna try the mild, and then we'll dig into the hot chicken. The mild. <laughs> Natural mild chicken. <laughs> we came all the way here to try Nashville well, mild chicken. I've heard so much about the mild chicken. The, like. the Nashville mild hot chicken. This is damn hot. That's mild. Mild. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Josh. Yes. You got the chicken and waffles? Got the chicken and waffles. And I wanted to try the uh, black and hot. So I got a kid's meal. So I can have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why hot chicken's so popular here? Yeah, I do. Because it's good. <laughs> if it wasn't, if it wasn't really great, it wouldn't have caught on. That's right? true. Yeah. But um, here, you're gonna need this. Oh, thank you're you. Thank you. Thank you. Hot is insane. Yeah. I can't imagine what this would do. <laughs> Oh my god! Tell me the story of how hot chicken was created. So it was created because this uh, dude, you know, he came in late one night and his girl, I'm not sure if it was his girlfriend or his wife, I think it was his girlfriend, maybe it was his wife, came home and she knew that he was out messing around on her and he asked her to make him some fried chicken. And this is like late night. So her act of revenge was to make it really hot. Yeah. And <laughs> and the act of revenge, he was like, man, that's really good. And he's like, you need to start making it like that. Yeah, yeah. And literally, that's what Prince is. Really? She, yeah, it's actually fantastic. And Prince's is like the OG one. Okay, so Prin even, Prince's Chicken is like the first one, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're the ones that like discovered it or like originated it. But even my friends that are like the best chefs in town, I will not mention their name. They're like, you're supposed to say Prince's is the best, but just as far as like flavor goes, uh, Hattie B's is. Hattie B's is. It, it's the best. The best. It is. How do you like it? It's good. Yeah. It's really good. Even the mild is a little spicy. So I don't know what we're gonna get into when we open this box. I do. I've been doing music so long now that that you you end up doing it for I don't want to say wrong reasons. You end up doing it for different reasons than when you first started, and they creep in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like pebbles in the pockets. It's like if it was like a huge stone, you would notice it, but it's like, and then all of a sudden you're doing things for reasons that you never started. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden people like it, and then you have this idea that it needs to be good. Well, what's good? Yeah, yeah. And then the playfulness goes out the window, and the wonder goes out the window. Yeah. And I've been doing these things on on my iPad of these sketches. It basically just yeah coloring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like like colors. I yeah. love color. Like I've never painted. Yeah. When I first started painting, before I ever did anything, the idea that came into my I was like, well, I don't know if that's good. And I was like. Of course it's not good. You've never done this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, well, why don't I just make a color till it makes me happy? Yeah. And then I paint whatever makes me happy. That's it. Yeah. So it's just about making me happy. Mm. It's not about being good. It's not about uh, what other people might think of it. Yeah. It's just about like what makes me happy. Yeah. yeah. And I started doing it and I've fallen in love with it. Yeah. And then I just got commissioned like two really big pieces for like That's amazing. Real money. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is crazy, but it's made me reapproach kind of even the, the way that I'm creating my yeah. music, which is how I make a living, what I'm known for. I'm excited to get into this chicken. Okay, here's the deal. No small bites. Oh man, I smell the heat. I smell the heat off of it. So this is the hottest chicken. This is the hottest chicken that Hattie B's offers. The rules of this contest, this unofficial contest, is that we, no small bite. We have to take one really big bite. Yeah. I have my glass of water because Here's, I know I'm not going to make it. Let me see. We're, we're just gonna right do here. that right there. Put it right here. All right. 
I'm nervous, man. Me too. <laughs> I, I love hot. I mean, I like, I get the jam hot, but I'm even nervous about this. All right. Cheers. Here we go. Let's do it. It's so, like, I'm not feeling it right now. Oh, here it comes. It's coming. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's great, though. It's tasty. My entire face. I can't feel my mouth. Look at you, you're just like... Oh, oh that's spicy. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that fight. Oh, that may have just done me in. Oh, that is hot. I that thought takes the over your whole zip code. Your personal zip code. I feel like, am I- Don't quit. Don't quit. I thought the mild was hot. <laughs> no, it's getting real bad. <laughs> don't don't keep your eyes away from your your hands away from your eyes. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I can't even I have a word for it. <laughs> What are you still eating? Uh huh. It's so good. I mean, at some point, you know what I mean? The water's cold, so you just. Oh man, I do not want to be the first one to drink water. There's your water. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> it's to the point where it's not enjoyable. Right. I mean, it's good. <laughs> Then it gets to a point where it's like, yeah, it's like <laughs> in order to keep the fire from going, you almost have to eat more. Like that was my thing. It's like just keep it. And, and while you're doing it, oh my god, it doesn't. You gonna pass out, man? I don't know. Wow. My water's help. That water will help. Every time I breathe, I feel like I'm just like yeah, it's wild. It. It's wild. It's like a workout. Oh, oh, that bike. There's some water. Go I ahead. can't do it. I can't Go do ahead. it. I think the water makes it worse. What you need is milk. Oh, shoot, you're right. <laughs> Oh it does make it worse. Oh. Oh. But everything in your body says get some water. Yeah. Yeah, oh. it's so wild. Oh. <laughs> I'm really in pain. <laughs> I'm flying out. Oh, and I'm. I'll be in the bathroom the whole time. Oh. So that's. Look at my face. Look at you, man. You're just face tears. You're, st it. you're stoic right now, like you're a veteran. Oh. <laughs> we need milk. Is what we need. We didn't bring milk. I fill it up. I would say, stop at the store, get milk. Get milk. Get milk. <laughs> so if you come to Hattie B's and you get everybody, you should get an order of of the hottest and everybody should try bite because it's just fun it's the thing that it is. is yeah i'm glad i did it i may not be glad later on today that i did this that's a diff that's a different episode <laughs> to be continued <laughs> that's a different episode well thad Dude, Chris, thank, you so, thank you so much for like putting your body through this oh thanks for having me that was so fun and it's good to see you. It's great to see you too, man. Oh my god. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face.
Oh. Yeah, this is still karate chopping yeah. me. Yeah. I still feel like I'm getting like tapped. Yeah, chopped. it's got this yeah. it's got this kick to it. But you don't feel it at first. You don't feel like yeah, you're like, oh this is not bad. This is not bad at all. And then all of a sudden it just like happens. The heat that's going on on my lips right now. My tongue. It's like a firecracker going off in my mouth. It's so wild. <laughs> oh my word. Cheers. Cheers. Dude, you're not looking so hot, man. Is this not stopping? <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting worse. <laughs>